Yo, what's good with y'all, man? It's your boy to be balling. I'm back again with another reaction, man. We got 19 year old Roll Rager arrested after attacking senior citizen, bro. Yeah, this, this, this right here. Title alone definitely seem interesting, man. So we're gonna get right into this one. See what's it about. Make sure I run the likes up, sub new, turn on post notifications. Share this video with everybody you know, man. We're gonna run that 20k. Let's keep running it up. Let's get it. Recording. Uh uh. No! Hey, 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 hey! Hey, don't, don't, don't fight that lady! Oh my god! Oh my god! No, 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 no! Hey! Home girl got the. Whoo! She got the welling off the rip. Ma'am, get in your car! On February 3rd, 2024, officers responded to a physical altercation involving a teenage girl and a 60-year-old woman at an intersection traffic light in the city of Ocala. The person who recorded the incident with her phone stated that she was stopped at the light and witnessed the defendant exiting her vehicle and immediately starting to punch the victim continuously. Upon officers' arrival, the individuals involved in the altercation separated, and the aggressor fled the area. Here's one thing you need to do before you buy anything online. Don't spend another dime on Amazon until you watch this first. Watch this. I can show you how to get the sweetest deals online when you shop from... Just, just stay in the car for a minute. Okay. You need a EMS? No, Check you I out. used to be one. Do you need a EMS right now? No, I gotta get my son home. I'm going to go. I uh, make contact with the uh, victim. She's uh, south of on 27th, just south of uh, 42nd Street. Uh, she was uh, having concussions from here. I might, I might go to the hospital. I'm gonna see if I can. If you can get me a EMS call, check her out. She's uh, asking for to check for concussion. I, you know how it is with the drug. Um. Okay. So let me get you, let me get you EMS. We'll check you out from here, and then like you know you can go for, to the hospital. I mean, I've got lots of knots on my head. Okay. Mm. All right, can, so what what happened? Well. Six six three three the kilo five was good. Right. The one over there. Right. Okay. I was on, you know, there's two south. I was on the outside. Oh, outside lane. So obviously I've got to get over to So as soon as I came through the light, there was a break in traffic. Yeah. So I thought, okay, I'll just get over now. Instead of waiting for the down. Right. Girl that assaulted me, she's a young way behind me, like four car lengths behind me, not yeah. even close to me. Right. So I have my signal on because I'm uh -huh. And I don't get over right away. Right. That's not how I drive. I, I have incentive with my insurance mm -hmm. to not drive. Mm -hmm. So I'm starting to get over because she's way behind me. Yeah. She doesn't want me to get over. Right. I'm already, at this point, I'm already half and half. Right. So I see her in my mirror out of nowhere, literally nowhere, yeah. at my tail end right here, but I'm already, already oh, no you know, okay. halfway over. Yeah. So I don't stop, that would be stupid. I don't know if I can get back over or not because I'm, my behind me is going to think I'm moving over. Mm. So I can't just jump back in my lane because right. it was too short of a time speed. Yeah. So she almost hit me. So... This light, she passes, gets in front of me, gets in the turn lane. I got in the turn lane because I wanted to get her. She ain't lying, bro. She's telling the truth, bro. Up the rip. This lady right here is telling the truth, bro. She going too in detail, like too descriptive for this. Like she, she telling the truth, bro. Tag, yeah. Not no other reason. Like I don't want. I wanted to get her tag. Yeah. But I was going straight, so I was going. So, so she cut you off, right? She cut you off. She was behind you, and then she got in front of you, almost hit you. After I got over, 
after you got over. She she almost caused us to have a wreck. That okay. was all on her. Okay. I, I, when I was getting over, she was nowhere near me. Okay. I had ample time to get over. And not speeding or anything like that. Yeah. Neither was she. Yeah. Until she didn't want me to get over. Okay. Then she sped. Okay. And then she went around me, because I obviously I finished getting over. Yeah. And then she went around me. And by then, she's in front of me. Yeah. So then she get when we get up here to where the turn lane starts, mm -hmm. she gets over into the turn lane, and that's where I follow her because I'm next to the turn lane to go through the light. Okay. So I get over there to get her tag. I want to get her tag, and yeah. you know, yeah. she, the way she's driving. Did whatever. you get out of the car? Did you step out of the car? She came to me. She came to. I got out of the car, mm -hmm. not expecting to get beat up. Right. <laughs> Apparently. At my age, right. I'm not going to swing. I could have hit her. I could have hit her back. Right. I sat there and took quite a few swings. But I didn't hit her back. Because it's, I told her to call the father so we could get home. Oh, okay. I could respect that, but woman, defend yourself at the end of the day. Like, defend yourself. Somebody comes at you aggressively, you just, at that point, you are defending yourself. So, I, that's all I'm saying with that. Defend yourself. Don't get me wrong. Was he up. with you? Yes, that's my son. Okay. He's autistic. Oh, uh, okay. I wouldn't do anything like that with him in the car anyway. Yeah. Especially with him yeah. in the car. Yeah. Did he get out and try to? Uh, he got out, but I didn't know he got out to the man in the white truck on next to me. I told him to get back in the car because he was hollering at the other girl, telling the other girl to stop. Mhm. Mm because everybody knew that she beat up on me. Right, like right. I wasn't. I, I didn't go to her. I didn't start swinging, none of that. Okay. I wasn't even calling her names. Well, not until I took a few punches. Yeah. Then I started swinging about them, but okay. not until then. Okay. So, those are three. The people took a video that called 911 because I didn't call. Right. So, they took a video, and well, I made him get back in the car, and then I got, I tried to get in the car, and she yeah. hit me a couple more times yeah. before I got in. What did he, what did she hit you like? In the face? Oh, and I've got not she can feel them all. Yeah. So Dang. So he don't need to know all that right now. Can you just Alright, tell him the story after you get with him. Anyway, <laughs> tell him because I'm speaking to the officer and I can't talk one. Over you. Okay, so, so and then she got back in the in her vehicle and, and left. After that? Once she started realizing people were getting out of the car, yeah, yeah. but and videoing yeah. her, and then my son got out, she still threw in a couple right. more punches. Yeah. Because I told him, I said, don't you dare hit her. She's not worth it. Don't right. you hit her. Because otherwise, I'd have been hit. Right. I'm not going to stand there and take a beating. I mean, I can swing. I might right. be old, but I yeah. can still swing. Okay. But she's young, and I'm not going to sit there and swing. Now, if she'd made my age, maybe I might have fought back. I don't know. <laughs> she's, to me, she's like a child, so okay. I'm not going to sit here and swing on a child. Okay. How old do you think she was? I think she's in her very young 20s, yeah, 20. if that. Okay. If that. Um, was she, like, black or white? Or Hispanic? She's white, but okay. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking maybe mixed Hispanic. Hispanic yeah. okay. But, because my son is. Yeah. Okay. But she has dyed hair. It's yeah. like bleach blonde's not real. Okay. So okay. It's kind of hard to tell. And but she it was went that way. The way she was talking. Okay. So she went that way. She went that way. And then you came. All. You pretty much pulled and over then, here. And then um the lady that called 911 was in front of me, uh -huh. the one that did the video. Yeah. So she came to my car and told me she was on the phone with 911. The light turned because the whole time the light was red. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The light turned. That's crazy. She that light. That phone. light was red for a minute for you to get beat up. <laughs> But it's okay, funny. But for you to get punched on multiple times, didn't have time to get in your car, her get in her car, make the bro. That's crazy. That light was red for a long time. Cause she has 911 on the phone. Yeah. So was she able to I send you did. that video? She sent me the video. Cause okay. I told her don't stay here. I, who knows how long it's gonna take? They had kids yeah. in the car. Yeah. Do you mind if I see that video? Yeah. Okay. So I told her. I said, you know, just give me everything you've got. Mm -hmm your name and everything because they wanted me to have her name. Okay. She wanted me to have her name. Yeah. Is the vehicle registered to you by chance? Yes. Okay. Yes, I'll get vehicle. I'll get your uh, information out of the uh, out of the vehicle. Well, 
Well, that's her, that's her license. That's her license? Yeah. Okay. I had to zoom in because yeah. I wasn't anywhere near her car because she was way in front of me, so she had to come way back to me. Okay. I wasn't next, I wasn't right behind her when all okay. that happened. Okay. I was farther back. Okay. This, this cop like, all right, you, you talking too much now. Stop. Okay. 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 All right. You can tell the cop he is not interested in the hair and nothing else. He got the license plate now, so now they can handle this. But also, I have my son in the car, so yeah. I don't know what to expect. So let me get right. out. Whatever's right. gonna happen, let it happen away from him. You know? Can you find that uh, the video yeah. if you have one? I just a little shook off. So they didn't start videoing it until, until okay. towards the very is, end. This is her. But those were the last punches. Uh-uh! No! Hey, 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 hey! Hey, don't, don't, don't fight that lady! Oh my God! Oh my God! No, 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 no! Hey! Ma'am, get in your car! Oh my God! I got it! Oh my God! Don't fight that lady! No, it's okay. Go ahead, girl. You're the guy with the gun, the person who would do anything to protect the ones you love. But did you know you could go to jail for simply doing the right thing to keep your family safe? Not that young. Okay. I'm not, I'm not going to hit a child, in my opinion. At 60, to me, that's a child. Honestly, I, I figure she couldn't have been much over 18. Do you mind if I forward it to me? No, I don't mind. Just in case I have a concussion, because she wailed on me friggin' hard. But you know, adrenaline, I wasn't feeling it. I, I knew it was hard. I knew I was hitting, hitting it hard, but yeah. I wasn't feeling it until I started calming down a little bit. And then the more I sat here, the more I started getting a little lightheaded. Okay. Started feeling a little goofy. And I, I started hurting really bad then. That's why I said I didn't want medical at first. I said, yeah, I used to be a medic. If I feel bad or whatever happens, I'll just go get looked at. And yeah. Then it just, I just have to start to feel really bad, so. But as you can hear, she's like, I got it, I got it. Because it was a very end. Okay. It had been going on. EMS is here. They're going to check you out. Okay. Away a couple times, and I was gonna start to walk OPD back to my car, but then she came back. But she's still rambling, bro. Look, okay, <laughs> this lady is going on and on and on, bro. Tell me, what's the plan doing on the Hey, she was assaulted real bad. Okay. Somebody, like, hit her real bad on, uh, in her, you know, the head area and stuff like that. Yeah. And I was fine, but now I'm not fine, so. Yeah. Okay. Do you mind if I take. Sure. How old are you, ma'am? I'm 16. 16. Yeah. Okay. 6921. Okay. Hello? Hi, Miss Carlin. How you doing, ma'am? Fine. This How are you doing? Very good. This is Officer Urono with your Ocala Police Department. Uh -huh. I believe you are the witness of the assault just that occurred over here by 42nd 27th. Yes, Miss Lake. Yes, ma'am, Miss Lake. Uh -huh. Yes, ma'am. Um, I just pretty much, uh, I, she saw me the video. It's kind of, it does not, it, it looks horrible. It looks really uh, bad. I mean, especially for, you know, somebody who is hitting on, you know, six-year-old female. So uh, can you just can you just tell me like you know what you saw, what you witnessed, and stuff like that? Okay, all, okay. We don't know what started it. Don't uh -huh. know what started it. Mm -hmm. All we know we was at the light, and my daughter looked and said, "Oh, they're fussing. They're arguing like that." And uh, so we looked back, and after we started sitting, we she hit her. The young girl hit the lady, and she said, "Oh, they kind of hit." So we both jumped out the car. Mm -hmm. That's and then um, they stopped. And she was fussing with her cousin and stuff, and then um, she started back hitting her, and that's when my daughter recorded it. Okay. And um, that's when I called 911. Okay. 
Alright. Um. The story matchup. up. The so old lady was getting That's, getting that's so. the only information you have uh, with this incident, right? That's it. We don't know what started or nothing like. Do what this a cop cop expect? He want her to sit here and say, "Oh, I was in this lady brain. I know what causes what all happened." Blah blah blah. No, bro. Like, she just told you what she's saying. She she don't know what started it. Like she just said. What do you expect her to say? She told you everything she know, bro. That all we know is that she was up in the front and the lady went back to her car. Yeah. Um, the young girl went back to the lady car. You witnessed her throwing the first punch, right? To yes, my punch. daughter witnessed her throwing the punch. We okay. didn't see the the older lady didn't hit back at all that we saw. Okay, she started feeling uh, lightheaded and we knew she would. Yeah, she that's didn't why like we that. didn't want to leave her. But I got another engagement. Yeah, she had a she had she you know she was kind of feeling a little bit of concussion or something like that. So she's going to the uh -huh. hospital. All right, and good thing uh, we got a tag so I can actually track that car to whatever. They need to pick her up because she had no business hitting that, that older lady. Yeah. She ain't had no business at all. Right. That's the only reason we got involved. <laughs> they need to pick her up, bro. I'm fucking dead, bro. <laughs> they, need to pick, they need to pick her up. She had no business hitting that older lady. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yeah, she was hitting her like real bad, too. Like, like she was a goddamn teenager. Yeah, I, I know. Yeah. 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 So she ain't had no business and they needed press charges on her. I hope she press charges on her. Yeah, she is pressing charges. Yeah. She need to. Yes, ma'am. Uh, all right, well, I appreciate <laughs> you so much, and I hope you have a better day, okay? She needs to. Okay, then. Yes, Thank you. Press charges. Yes. With the information the police officer had received from the victim about a specific vehicle tag, they left the scene to conduct an area search for the vehicle. During the search, they were able to locate and identify the suspect at their home. Save up to 30% on Alpha Brain. Oh, that one's a little fishy. I don't know about that one. Just a couple part time painters. Get something. their home. <laughs> nah, they probably use that like a little, a little duster, bro. Fingerprint. Is that low? Yeah. And yeah, they found that shit easy too. She looking like, yep, you going to jail. Okay. Okay. All right. Dang, she, she got the whooping on. That older lady, man. And went home to a cookout, bruh. <laughs> Since we got here, uh, I'm just gonna read your rights, all right? Uh, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you said can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have them present what you've been questioned. If you cannot afford a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any question, if you wish. You can, you can decide at any point to execute, execute these rights and not answer any question or make any statement. Do you understand this, each of these rights? I mean, I keep in mind, do you want to talk to me? Okay, so, we are the right. Okay. And the lady is playing in front of me. Mm-hmm. And she has a blink on, but she doesn't like, right? Just be quiet, bro. You don't even need to talk. Bro, you literally just read your rights. And said in there, you don't have to make a statement, bro. You don't have to say nothing. Don't say nothing, bro. Just go to... <laughs> this aren't all being read over court, bro. You should have just, you shouldn't have said nothing. You see what I mean, bro? You think this shit a joke, bro? Like, <laughs> that's your problem. These cops are not your friends, bro. They are not your friends. They're, they literally there to arrest you. And you over here conversating with them like, they your homegirl or something. See, this shit done, bro. You ain't have to say nothing. At the end of the day, go ahead and get that little little charge. You gonna bond out most likely. 
be on probation, keep it moving, bro. Yo ass out here just about to give all these, all this information, telling on yourself. Crazy, bro. So when I got the light, I stopped in my car park and I get out. And then I walked to her. Dude, what is up with this nigga? You want to be, you want to be involved so bad, bro. Why, why was, why did you come? Why are you smiling? Like, so, you're the aggressor, bro. She won. She won the first charge. Because she actually was taken to the hospital with concussion. Because he hit her so bad. And then she was 60. Little tiny grandma. Right. right. So I turn around for me. You think that shit a joke? Right? Oh, let her ass sit in there doing stupid shit like that. Hey, I don't know if that's her father. I'm gonna I'm assume that is. That's what's up. I, I respect that. In the tennis that I respect that. If it was my daughter. She's gonna tell us, I'm bonding her out, bro. I'm not finna let her sit in jail, bro. That's fucking crazy. But, to what I said, I can see what he mean, bro. He said, nah, let her sit in there. You did attack an elderly woman. At the end of the day, you 19 years old. That's a 60-year-old lady, bro. And you punching on her like she, bro. That's crazy. And she's not even fighting back. At that point, you just overdid it. So, I can see why, if that's her father, he's like, yeah, let her sit in there. Me personally, though, I wouldn't let my daughter sit down. I, like I said, I'm, I could discipline her my damn self, bro. Her sitting in jail is not, I don't even see that. That's not discipline, bro. That, that's not discipline, bro. I handle that shit myself. But, like I said, I can, I can low-key respect what he said, bro. But he a different breed. I'm not letting my daughter sit in jail, bro. Hell no. How old are you? You a grown guy? Six nine two one. Oh, I did say nineteen year old. No. So, I, you know, I, uh, I thought it was gonna be some minor. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be some minor altercation and stuff like that. You know, but I got there. She's got all these bumps uh, on her head and stuff like that. So she couldn't drive no more. She had to. The ambulance had to get there to take her to. Hospital, or something like that, so. what, what about her? Did she have a passenger with her? She had an autistic uh, kid with her. Her son, bro. Yeah. Yes, sir. All right, well, uh, it's a misdemeanor charge, so, I, you know, thank God it wasn't a felony, because if she was 65, it could have been a felon, felony, so. Damn, I didn't even know that. Yeah, I, I didn't even know that, so if the... You also, an elderly person over 65, it would be considered a felony. Damn. Well, she did get lucky. A lady 60. She she missed that um that window right there. To be a, it's getting a, it's a misdemeanor. But that's what I was saying. I was like, look, you over here explaining the story. You going to jail regardless. Like you ain't have to say nothing. Just go to jail. And I did say, you know, bond out, and then you gonna probably be on probation. That's it. But the dad said, no, I'll let her sit in there, so <laughs> she gonna sit in that motherfucking breath. She did she should have just shut up. She never said nothing, right?
The suspect was charged with battery against an elderly woman. She was placed on a 12-month probation, required to complete 40 hours of community service, yeah. attend a 10-week anger management course, and had no contact with the victim due to her actions. Her father stated he did not know where she got such behavior. What are your thoughts on it? Leave a comment below. And if you enjoyed this video... The fact that they just sat there to her, well, okay, that indicates that's her fault. But the fact that he just sat there just like, well, she never did that. Because I'm pretty sure she pulled up to the house after that whole incident and told her father about it. Because the way that she's talking to the cop about the situation, like, they cool. I'm pretty sure she did that with her pops. His, his demeanor probably wasn't the same like how it was when the cops got there. He wouldn't be like, he got some type of, you know, fatherly duty. No, nah, she could just sit her ass in there. But I guarantee you she would have been like, shit, you should have beat the fuck out of it. Like, who knows? I, I ain't gonna say you probably didn't even say that either, bro. You probably didn't say that either. You probably might have said it, well, if the cops show up here, you, you're going to jail. That's probably why you're so calm right now. But I don't know what was said, but all we know is she was saying too much, bro. But this thing of that, y'all let me know what y'all think about it in the comment section below. Make sure I run the likes up, sub news on the post notifications. Y'all can follow me on IG and Twitter, links in the description. Hit me up over there, man. Look, we on the road at 200K. Let's keep running it up. It's your boy, that be Wallin. And I'm out.